afternoon, a great teacher and a great philosopher once said, be the change you wish to see in the world. And I believe that the change will start from Toledo West and Toledo East. And what makes it more special is that because you guys are here and it's a historic day and we want to thank you guys for coming. Some of you guys are all the way from Halakte. Thank you so much Some from Santa Cruz, from Vuejo, or wherever you guys came from. Thanks a lot. Some people from PG also here. So thanks a lot. So thanks a lot, lot, lot for coming. Some people all the way from Dangriga, Sand Creek, Belize City, everybody is here. I believe that our revolution is coming and it's starting from Toledo. So we want to thank you guys so much. So we have Mr. Will Mejia, we have the party leader, we have everybody standing strong because we all believe in a cause and that's the reason why we're all here. Okay, so now we want to sing the national anthem we're asking everyone that has on a cap or shades or everything to just take it off because we want to be that change so we want to start something new and respect our national anthem right. and everybody can you please stand up put your hands to your side and let's be patriotic and sing our pro belizean national anthem and we call on the assist sisters the leaders in the national anthem You guys are very patriotic, you guys didn't even move an inch while singing the national anthem, so thanks a lot. Okay, now we have the invocation or the opening by Mr. Salucio Chiak. Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> yes, good afternoon everybody. Well, please bow our heads for prayer. Father God, we thank you for a blessed day today as we start this new journey towards a change, a change that we have been longing for for so long, Amen. a change that we deserve, a change that we want, yes, and Lord. it's we and not the we. Amen. So, Father God, thank you. And guys, this one verse I need to 
to read out this Proverbs 39, 18. It goes like this. Leadership starts when a vision emerges, and where there is no vision, the people will perish. Amen. So Amen. that is us. Amen. And thanks again. All right, thanks a lot, thanks a lot. I don't know if this guy is a pastor or if he's a politician, but anyway, excellent job. All right, so now we have the opening remarks by Mr. Patrick Rogers. Yay! Yay! Greetings and thank you, Mr. MC. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2008, we took one trip down here. We were right over the hill, and we were celebrating the launching of Brother Will Mejia candidacy, then championing the brand PNP, People's National Party. At the time, I guess it was Brother uh, Dionysio, Dionysio, Dionysio who had stood up for Toledo West. Now, our journey will take for a number of years. But today I could stand here and proudly say that, you know, no care how man plan, that God control timing. So the Almighty Father said, no matter that the only five weeks we have to do what we have to do, He will make sure that we amalgamate it. So I stand here today telling you that with this name under the sewer, we got from the Belizean people. We said we want to come together, we have our vision, like uh, the MC said, and it has nothing to do with the name Vision Inspired by the People, which is the former affiliation we had when I was down here in 2008. But the vision remains with the BPP. It's the same vision, it's just not the name. So we gave up our name to have a name being selected for us, and we are so happy that in the wisdom of our people, they chose two words where we just love so much. If you notice, none of the other parties have Belize in their name. And this name Belize, you know, with heart. So for our name that the people give we to have Belize in it, and our second favorite word, progressive. Because you see, since independence, the country has been going back way. We've seen expansion, yes, a lot of expansion. But did it benefit us, the people? No. no. So then we haven't developed because our country not developed until the citizens can say that I have benefited from whatever had taken place since independence. We went from the highest literacy rating of the region to now today we have 55% of our high school age kids that are not in school. So you want to talk about what motivated me to stand up and try and make sure we take this country in a different direction where development is about what benefits our people. It's the same education issue. The same education issue. When in 2003, I learned that only 4% of our population was attaining sixth form level education or above. 4%. That's no way for our country to develop. The next thing I learned is that the educational system is not benefiting us. The educational system, how we go and get our education, and all it does is it makes us one product for the northern market because there's no jobs being provided here for us that use the academia curriculum or the schools that they give with. What am I saying? I'm saying that until we change the educational system to be more meaningful to what we need it to be, to learning the value of putting our limit of sweat in at the ground, which is where the wealth is created. So Toledo District is the wealthiest district in the country. Right. Yet, <laughs> yet, whenever the governments want to beg, they say the poor people at Toledo. Well, I want to say this to you. I've learned a lot from my travels to this district. I've learned from the president of the Maya Leaders Association. When we sat and had one lunch at his place, Mr. Dionysio Choco, yes. Every piece of meal we ate was right from his farm. Everything, everything, because it, I think the meal wasn't even cooked with salt, but the spices seasoned it up enough. The man said, Mr. Rogers, he said, I said, we're poor. He said, but you don't see no Maya out on the street, they beg nobody for money if they have to eat. 
He said, you know, see, no Maya to sleep out the road with no have a shelter over his head. The problem is that we're too humble. I mean, it's good to be humble, right? But we're too humble. We're too humble. When it comes to stand up for the rights, the Maya have led the way in at this country. And that's why we always take stand in solidarity with the Mayas because we say we're waiting for the Maya that we're waiting for the least. Right. Yes! Yes, Toledo West represent one mixture of Maya because of Kachian Mopan. Um, to me, there is no difference. The Maya blood I have, the Yucatecan Maya. My mother has some Yucatecan Mayan blood. I have African, I have Darifuna, in fact, either way you call Torabred Paplika. And the technophy in the Arab, but other Paplika, I got all them blood in me. So, for me, I have one big problem, which is why I take the stand I stand, because you see what I want for me? I want for each and every one I out there, especially on a picnic. That's right. You see, that is my problem. So when I was offered a chance to go and run with the blue machine or the red machine and we're months there within the court, good brothers like myself, because any other member of the BPP, believe you me, the red or the blue machine would have gladly have us on board their team. But the thing is that, yes, the thing is that they will not allow us to serve our people. They will teach us how to be rulers instead of leaders. So one of the hallmarks that brought us together as the BPP was that we demanded that every member respect each other. Once we get past respect, we demanded a level of humility in every candidate because the arrogance of elected officials are part of the reason why we're in the problem we are. We elect them, we put them on our shoulder, and when they get elected, all of a sudden they develop an air around them. Where we can't find them, <laughs> like we're part in there before the election, <laughs> very visible. So we are saying that we demand of our candidates a level of humility in understanding that you are being elevated from amongst your people to serve your people as a leader, not a ruler. And to do that, you need to listen. And listening is our mark of humility. So if Mr. Aze, now they listen, I want to explain that to the chairman. Nobody want to tangle with the chairman, I assure you, because the chairman got a master's degree in a good governance, so that not if we got guidance where we need, we do have the guidance we need in our brother Parker Smith, and I want to give him a big round of applause. <laughs> because that he basically won the whole week to the task. Myself as a political leader, the way how the movement is set up, Brother Paco and I share the power of what we know as one party leader, right? We, I don't know a party leader. I'm a political leader of one movement where I understand that the Prime Minister is wielding too much power in this country. And when we are elected, we don't want nobody. We don't want to leave it to the goodness of that person's heart and say, oh, I'm a benevolent person and I do the right thing. We want to make sure that we set up our structure where the political leader understands that the power is being shared with the chairman, chairperson, because it could be a female as it has been in the past sometimes. And the executive, when they get with the chairman, actually have more power than the political leader. So are we trying to make a difference? Yes, we are. Everything we do is about walking the walk of what we talk. So you see the name, we allow the people to pick the name for it. That is called participatory democracy, where the people are involved and engaged in every decision making that is made. So from the first step of selecting a name, we allowed the Belizean population to go ahead and participate in a, what we will be named. And I assure you, I just met Brother Asi about three, two weeks, three weeks ago. But you know, with a kindred spirits, you know, with, with our spirit before we take on this vessel. That's right. And when you meet people, you either connect with them spiritually or you don't. So when we explain to him, we need you to be humble. We need you to already be an honorable man in your community. And most of all, we require honesty from you. Honesty. Because we've been lied to by successive government. They signed the agreements in a secret and everything else. So we ensure that 
the three H's must be understood by all our uh, political aspirants that you need to be humble, you need to already be one honorable member in your community, and you must be honest amongst yourself and with the Belizean people at large. So I stand here today to tell you that this brave gentleman that have decided to stand up with us is an honorable yeah. man. That's right, Mr. Asse. So in our circle, we're already speaking to the honorable Asse. And we want you all now to see him as such and to see him as your voice. Tell him what you want to be heard out at the, the national level, at the executive, not just at the southern uh, level where Mr. Will and he in the meat line with the brothers from Dangriga, at the national level and to Belize. Tell Mr. Asse, because that, that is what leadership is all about, right? Listening to the needs of the constituency and taking it up to wherever it needs to go so that it gets the attention that it, is, it deserves. Now, I don't want to take up too much of the mic time because when I don't write one speech, I could tend to go on for two hours, right? <laughs> but um, I want to say how happy I am to be back here uh, from 2008 now to 2015 and to see Brother Will still sticking at it like I knew he would be. What a brother there. What a lion there. Yes, <laughs> lion. Woo! Right, and as I keep saying, going around this country, there's no brother I would have rather have been the deputy knowing that if they put one bullet in my Morocco as the cars will have martyrs, right? But I know that we're in competent hand with our lion when afraid just like me. So we are on a mission. We're on a mission to show them that nothing is impossible because as every religion teach, when two or more are gathered in his name, the Godhead will be present. Amen. So, Amen. Amen. when the Godhead choose to invoke him or herself because he's omnipotent, miracles happen. That's right. We say, what the like one? Miracle. It wasn't no miracle. It wasn't no miracle. It's the timing when the Godhead said, this is the time because we will it to happen. So we wanted it to happen before. This time around, we are willing it to happen, but for it to happen that we have to include honor. And that is the reason why you see on our shirt, the last two lines says, it is about the we, we, we and not the me. If you write M-E power piece of paper and flip it over, you see you get W-E. That is what we're about. We're about changing the game where, where they think that the bottom and up the top. So we intend to be leaders for our people. We intend to be listening to our people. And the only way we can do that is by having you all understand that the responsibility is on you to say how you feel, Mr. Asi. Can't read none on the mind. And once you say how you feel to him, he will be saying it to us and we'll be saying it to who we need to until what on the need get addressed. I know I eat up now my time, but I say I am honored to be standing beside you, my brother. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's very enlightening. Of course, I, I shouldn't be on the agenda as yet, so I'll wait for my time, but I'm really honored. Um, I don't know what to see right now, but when my turn comes, I don't, I don't, I'll be ready. All right? This here, this movement here, really inspires me right now. For, I have a call. I have a call, not for myself, as the Honorable Patrick Ryder said, but for us, especially my youths. So, I will leave it for that right now. I know we have somebody else, and then when my turn comes, I'll do what I gotta do. All right, one big round of applause for Mr. Rogers. So, guys, I believe that with a great leader like Mr. Rogers that has a vision, and with you, the people that believes in the cause and believes in the vision, I believe that there will be a change in this community and in Punta Gorda. So please give yourself a round of applause. 
Guys, let's just set the record straight. Without you guys, without you guys voting for the Belize Progressive Party, there will be no progress and there will be no change coming to this community. So it starts from you guys. You guys have the power. You guys have the right. So you guys should do what you believe is right. It's just not about voting for someone. It's not voting about the POP or the UDP. It's voting for someone you believe that will be a great leader to you and will deliver to the community. So just keep that in mind. And when you guys go to the polling station, no one will know who you voted for. They won't know if you voted for the PUP, the UDP, or the Belize Progressive Party. Only you will know who you vote for. So please give the Belize Progressive Party a chance and see what they will do. You won't know how it feels to walk from here to that school unless you walk from here to that school. So you won't know what the Belize Progressive Party have in store unless you give them a chance. So let's give them a chance and see what they have. And to talk about the Belize Progressive Party, I bring to you no other than Mr. Bobby Lopez. Round of applause, please. Thank you, MC. I want you all to repeat after me. Please, I want to hear everybody. Eight, eight, six, seven. One more time now. Eight, eight, six, seven. Harder. Eight, eight, six, seven. I got to hear you now. Eight, eight, six, seven. Folks, it's 8867 today, 8867 tomorrow, and 8867 forever. This is the only party that will not sacrifice one each. The PUP and the UDP in 2010 signed the secret agreement with Guatemala to let the ICJ decide where our borders are. And if you vote for them, that's where we will end up. At the ICJ, a bunch of English lawyers and, and from Europe and what have you got to decide, you know what? The border should be at the Cebun. And guess what? That's what it will be. And you all will become Guatemalans. Oh. You want that? No! I don't hear you. You want that? No! Good. <laughs> Folks, we don't know Johnny come lately. This is my sixth election I'm running in and I've never voted for the red or the blue my first vote was for the NABR because you might not know in 1991 10 years after we got independence Mr. Golson left the UDP he did not die a UDP and why did he leave these were his very words he said Belize needs a third party because the two parties are corrupt from top to bottom. Yeah. They are not concerned about the ordinary Belizean and they intend to create a two-party dictatorship. And that's what we have today. But why did he leave? It was not only about corruption. He left because it was the PUP and the UDP in 1981, uh, 1991 that signed together and agreed for the Maritime Areas Act. And he was not in agreement and he left, he resigned. And you might not know, those of you who were around in 1991, we already gave nine miles of our territorial seas to Guatemala. And every weekend, you can ask Bala Will and those who see the Guatemalans in their big million dollar yachts going to the Snake Keys and the Sapadilla Range and enjoying our islands and our fish. That's happening probably right now. We gave, and it was the blue and the red that gave nine miles of our territorial sea and all we have in front of Toledo right now is three miles. You want more of that? No! Because you might lose half your country if you vote for the red and blue again. Thank you! Guys, this is now the first time in the history of Belize since 1981 that we have a national party. Yay. Yay. Yesterday, I was in Corozal, meeting with the four candidates running for Corozal. Lucilio Tech, Roy Rodriguez, Edna Diaz, and Hector Palomo. They are standing up 
because they have had enough and they want a new change. But a change with a difference, not flipping from red to blue and red to blue. Green. I met with the candidates in Orange Walk. We have a brave doctor who has stepped up. He worked 16 years for the government and he said it's nothing but corruption and negligence because they don't care about you. When you come there, they don't even have the medicines to give you. Then I want to it. Okay, exactly. <laughs> you want more of that? No. no. Our wives are dying when they have children. Yeah, no wife should die in this day and age just to have a child. Yeah. No man. We've had enough. We've had enough. And I went on from Corozal to Orange Rock to Belize City as the national campaign manager, meeting with the candidates, and I want to tell you what's here today. I am running for San Pedro and Kikaka, known as Belize Rural South. I've run there three times. Yeah, all right? I've run in Belmopan three times. And I want to show you a short history because you think it's not possible. My dad stood up in 1998 at the age of 73 to run independent. We thought he was crazy. We said, Pop, why in the world would you want to do that? He said, for all my life, I've been voting for the lesser of two evils, and it's still evil. Still is. Because when you vote for the lesser of two evils, you're still the vote for evil. So he said, at the age of 73, he said, I don't know if I will live to 78 for the next election. So I want to vote for myself. He never did campaign. He never did do anything. He never spent a copper except his $200 for nomination day. He got 11 votes, his family and a couple friends. But guess what? He inspired a bunch of us in Belmopan that said, this old man could have yeah. What are we going to do? What are we doing for our generation? And we stood up in Belmopan, two of us after that in 2000. And we got 600 odd votes. And we stood up in, four of us stood up in 2003. And we got 1,500 odd votes. And then we stood up seven in 2006, and we carried up to 3,000 odd votes. Woo! And in 2009, we beat the PUP. Beat the PUP. That is history. History has recorded that the movement that started with one 73-year-old man with 11 votes beat the PUP with 5,110 votes in 2009. Woo! And then we realized we can win when the people are ready for the win. But you have to be ready. You have to reach a point where you have to say, I have had enough. And if you don't reach that, because God allowed the people to suffer, okay? Listen, in the Bible, guys, the journey from Egypt to the Promised Land was four days. But because they were stubborn, but because they didn't believe, because they didn't have faith, they ended up 40 years. 40 years wandering all over the place to try to find the Promised Land. Yes. The promised land is right here. On November the 4th, you can take ownership of the promised land. But you want to suffer more? Vote for the red and blue. Because guess what? We will be right back here afterwards. And you say you had enough? More of the dead. More of one mother's dead. You want more suffering? You will decide. So I'm telling you on November the 4th, with the stroke of your pencil, and before only the Almighty God, you put that check mark. We don't vote with the X guys. I want to see how many of you don't like their X when they go to school. <laughs> how many of you don't like when the teacher put X, 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 X? How many? I want to see one. The law says you shall place a mark in the box. In our movement, we vote with the check mark because it's the correct thing to do. Yeah. How many of you don't like it correct? Yeah. Yes. When you see the correct, you feel good. But when you put the correct mark in that box, it makes you feel good because you're voting for it, you're not voting against. Yeah. Yes. So I'm telling you guys, we don't want to suffer some more, vote the red or blue. Not as strong. But if you want change, if you want change that will make a difference, then give the green a chance. Mr. Wilma here has run three times. Brother Patrick has run two times. Brother Paco has run. I have run. This is my sixth time. And I'm going to run till I drop dead. Okay? But I hope that you all want the change as much as we want the change. Because we have changed. We have changed. Because if we never changed, we would be red and blue. Okay? 
And you might say, oh, we don't love for everybody t-shirts. But t-shirts don't vote. Banners don't vote. Flags don't vote. Money doesn't vote. People do. It's you that votes. Yeah. Yeah. This party don't go no lot of money. But this party got one lot of love. Okay? Yes. And when we stretch for wheelie money, and we only give our candidates 24 t-shirts, and those 24 t-shirts for each candidate is for the ones who will work. Who will go out and campaign. So nobody ask for t-shirts. Please understand guys, if we had it, we would like, yeah, I don't know. That we bring love, and you can't buy love. Yeah. You can't put a value on love. You can't buy love. I'm coming all the way from San Pedro, all the way from Corozal yesterday, to be here with you all because we love you. Yes. My great grandmother was a cockum. You all know how all we mix up? My great grandfather was an Englishman, George Andrews, who came to this high, to this country as a young boy and married an Indian girl called uh, Kanuta Kokum. Do you ever see along the road to a place with name Mamanut? Mamanut is after my grandmother. That was my family, and that's what we called her, Mamanut. Kanuta Kokum, guys. So all of we mix up. All of we got Maya, all of we got uh, Black, all of we got Spanish, all of we mix up with all of we got Belizeans. Yeah! First and foremost, yeah! we are Belizeans. Yeah! Yeah! I am happy to see you all here. And let me tell you how you will make the win, guys. If every single one of you here go out, in the next three weeks, each day, convince one person each day to vote for the Green. On November 4th, we got the victory. Yes. yes. You have to put in the work. There is no way Mr. Asi can see every voter in the next few days. You all have to take the message back. Brian Mac will give the Green one chance. Look around you as we drove from PG to here. All we saw was Green. Green is life. Without chlorophyll, without chlorophyll, we can't live. Yes. That's what green represents. Life. It presents life. 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 We have been planting the seed of change, and now it's time to reap the harvest of change. So please, my fellow Belizeans, brothers and sisters, and young people of Toledo, let the revolution start from here. 8,867 today, tomorrow, and forever. God bless you all. Alright, thanks for that, thanks for that, Mr. Lopez. Bob. Okay, it's about the we and not about the me. Guys, let me share a scenario with you guys. Before election day, in Punta Gorda Tongue, there was this candidate that was running. I wasn't called Lonians or anything. Before the election, they give e they gave each voters $70, right, for their vote. So now keep that in mind, $70. And they give them a brand new t-shirt, which is a rough light, $30. Yeah, so $70 and $30 hard. is how much? $100. $100, right? And right before election, before they went into the polling station to vote, they gave them a ride under the ASC, which is like $5 for a taxi run. Anyway, so now these guys got $70 for their vote, they got a brand new t-shirt, and they gave them a ride to the polling station, which is like the value of 105 like I mentioned earlier. However, when she won, she forgot about the people. And you know what she got in return? A brand new vehicle that is worth $85,000. You know what they could have done with that $85,000? Bring it to San Antonio and give it back to the people that ready to drive it. So guys, what I'm trying to say is the other party is about the me, me, me and not about the we. So the Belize Progressive Party is about the we and not about the me. So I just wanted to clear that point out. So guys, before we continue, we're just going to have a short little break, a short little interlude, just um, discuss among yourself and then we'll be back, we'll proceed back. Thanks a lot. Those are the people that took over when the British left and they just instituted their brand of despotism, for the, for the lack of a better word. Then they rule we, right? And that is not how we do business in the BPP. We are here to serve the people. And I must say that I feel a very heartfelt bit of gratitude for the young man who decided to step up here in Toledo That's West. Right. West. That's right. The brother that I met right here in Toledo 
Right, Mr. Esteban, a C junior, Asse, we're doing a permaculture design course back at Maya Mountain Research Farm. And as Brother Patrick said, when I first met this brother, my spirit took him, you know? It just took to him, because I knew the brother was real. And I can safely say that with an individual like Esteban, a C junior, stepping up in the house, in the house, Woo! for the people of Toledo West. You cannot lose! Yay! Trust me. Can I go around? So I not only give my endorsement for Mr. Asi Jr., but also for the brother, Will, and also the brothers from Dangriga. Can I West from Dangriga, which we'll hear from very shortly. In closing, I'll simply say this. My beautiful Tunisian people, only you can make the difference. And like our MC said, who's doing such an excellent job, when you step into the, the bonus box and you vote for whosoever you want, only you and God know who you're voting for, right? So please, do the right thing. We don't believe in the X, we like the check mark, right? And all I can say is thank you so much. I feel so good to see so many people out here. And you can also do your part by telling, say, five other people what the Belize Progressive Party is about because only you can make a difference. Thank you. This next speaker that will be coming to the mic reminds me of a famous quote that goes, I'd rather be a dead hero than a living coward. <laughs> and I truly believe that this guy is championing the cause not for himself, not for his family, not for the Belize Progressive Party, but for you, the people. That's right. So I bring to you no other than Mr. Esteban Asen, first a little way. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Not the case to a colleague, the case to you, for all, everyone that's here, party leader, chairman, Mr. Leslie Public Relations, my wife Olivia, my friends, Mr. Chiap, where are you? The first man to step up beside me, Mr. Hustin Yarbo, thank you very much, and we are coming. I am no stranger to Toledo, I am no stranger to San Antonio. Everyone knows me, everyone has seen my face. In fact, when you hear the surname Asif, it rings a bell, right? And that's very good, guys. And that's because I was molded from someone really good. Starting from my dad, yeah, from dad. That's right. And now to my dad. May he rest in peace. Yeah. But I know he's up there looking on me. Yeah. He said, son, I know he would have wanted me to do this when he was living. Yes. But change, doing something positive is never too late. That's right. That's right? right. Yes. My name is Esteban Asi Jr. I am 29 years old, the youngest on this slate right now. And I want to tell my young people that this is the start of a great movement. Yeah. It's not the red, it's not the blue. It's a green movement. Look around you. It's all green. It's all green. And what is green telling you? That's life. And we need life, so we want green. That's right. 34 years, people. 34 years. Look at us in Toledo. What is happening? It's still the same. Right? Now I'm not here to come and tell you we're going to build a bridge. I'm not here to come tell you we're going to build roads. We're going to extend farmers' roads. I'm not here to tell you we're going to put in electricity. Because we know 34 years ago, that had been started, so by now, we should be looking at newer things. That's right. Right? That's right. Where are my youths? Right around here, lingering. What is there? Nothing to do. We need someone with vision. We need someone to create something. Toledo, look at Toledo. What are we doing here in Toledo? Cacao. Our farmers are doing cacao. But what are we doing right now? Farmers can't do much because there is no vision for our people. Why can't we come and start an industry whereby we do our value added, whereby we as Toledo can sell our chocolate, create jobs for our people. 
What is there is no vision, people. No one knows what to do. It. We can go ahead and count all this and say all this. But I'm not fair for that. I'm here to tell you. Change is going to happen. Not today. Not tomorrow. On the longer run. But it has to begin from somewhere. And the beginning is today. What I'm doing here is not for me. What I'm doing here is for all of us. That's right. Yes. Right? Five years down the road, I might not be here, but I want ten more of my younger guys to say, you know what? If he can do it, I'm going to do it too. Yes. 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 They have never seen a green flag in San Vicente till lately. And Running around, we were in big files yesterday, and we stopped and we greeted some people. And one of the ladies said, "Are you guys Nigerians?" <laughs> I said, "No. The only, only people trying to take our country right now is Guatemalans. <laughs> but this is the Belize Progressive Party. It's the green machine. It's the green wave. It's the green movement. That's right. That's right. People are ready for a change, but." Who is willing to make that change? We. It is me, it is you, it is all of us. We, right. we continue to say we are tired of the blue, we are tired of the red. Yes. When election day comes, we bust and we go, we are all happy. We dance to the Super G songs, we drink our beers, we forgot all the problems, we sell our votes. Election finish, the person gets in power. Me and you have to go back to a farm and pick up with JP Japa and harvest with Kalalu because that's what we do. As to lead our people, we need not to beg, but we need to create more incentives. We are living our of our land because we have land, but we want to create more markets. Right? We have our produce. Where do we go? Why can't San Antonio, why can't Colombia, why can't Big Falls have their own markets and supply? Yeah. We are tired of having people coming from outside Mexico, Guatemala side, and bringing products here, man. Right. This is for us. Why can't we bring out our youths? And I will say this because it's reality. There is no vision here. Our youths are sitting down smoking weed. Because nothing else there to do. Man, we can create opportunities for them. We don't want our teachers because when everybody becomes a teacher, everybody gets smart. We want the plumber. We want the carpenter. We want the painter. We want the farmer most important. We want the entrepreneur. And together, and yes, we need a fisherman. And together, we will do that. But it starts from you. It starts within you. I want to send that message clear. Today is the beginning of a new change. That's right. If you look at this right now, I am so happy. I feel the vibes. I am so happy. Why? Because it is a first for San Antonio. And you see a lot of green around. Right? A guy told me yesterday, look at what God did. Many different species of plants. Some we know, some we don't know. Yeah. But every plant is there for a purpose that's right. and that's what we need to instill each one of us come for a purpose and when we say we want change we are stand about it we will make that change but you can't say you want change and tomorrow you're back down right so i want yes. to, to think about this when i took this stand i didn't say i'm going to do it for me because man i want a fat salary no I know I can do change. I have very good brothers here. This is a very good team. And that is why I have never thought about stepping in the blue nor in the red. Of course, I can tell you, my family comes from a POP background. But man, what is happening? It's corruption. And should I stay in there? No. no. It is time for a change, people. Yeah. I want all of you to listen to that. Take it back. My youths out there. The women out here, come on. We have to bring out good ideas. Sit down with the village leaders who apparently are not here because they're not interested, right? But we want them to come out. And we'll be going community to community spreading the same message. 
right? Because when it's about time to change, they see someone stand up, one man come out and look, the next one stay back, then you see our next man come out, where you see everybody want to go. And that's the momentum we want to create, right? Look at this right now. Look at us right here. You don't see 10, 11 buses, 12 buses, because we have said that the green is for us. The green is about sustainability. Yes. Using our resources wisely, yes. using our bodies wisely. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why, people. We are used to coming here, eating all the food, spending all this money. That money came from somewhere, and that person wants his money back. So who is going to pay for it? It is you five years, yeah. right? So, yes, we can go out there, we can party, but let us not forget the problems. Because if you go out there, you get drunk, you forget everything overnight, you still not solve the problem, right? So it starts from within us. I am glad to be here, and I am sensitizing my people. We need a change. Are we ready for a change? Yes! yes. So we need to move on, people. Yes! I know I am young, but I want other people to come on board and see the reality that, man, why would we want a PF if this typical man can't use it? You go past through Santa Cruz, there is a PF and there is no light. Better than me left the road white the night so you can walk and still see. <laughs> go to San Jose, right? Go to San Jose. No, these computers, they want to take the shortcut, but they forgot that they never fix the culverts. So these are the things, people. Look at it. If you want a change, the Belize Progressive Party is here. I is the one I say. Humbly will represent you, and I know what you need, because I hear it. But I won't do it myself. I will do it along with you. So be prepared for the change. I am willing for this time because going around people will not change easily. That I am sure of. They might not vote me in today, this time around November 4th. But we will give it a try, people, because change starts from small. Yes, right? Yes. And when we create that momentum, yes. we are sending a message to the government of Belize and to the POP that the green flag is going to wave high now and going on. And going on. Yes, yes, that is what we are creating. You, you heard about the 8867. You heard about 8867, some of you don't you hear the numbers. 8867 square miles is Belize. That's right. Not right That's here by Barango, but all the way to Sari School. And we are not going to give an inch to Guatemala. No, no, no. But if you're willing to sacrifice yeah. that, then you can go and put the blue or the red. But us, the Belize Progressive Party, are willing. We want to work, we will work. But we need the people to listen and say, DPP, we are ready for you. Right? That's good. So guys, think about it. I will leave you with this. Change is good. But it has to start somewhere. I am willing to help you make that change. Are you willing to help me make the change? And the answer should be yes. So, Come November 4th, when you walk to the police station, if they are giving you $50, $20, man, take it. You know why? Five years ago, you made done work for that. So take it, take it. But I will tell you one thing. Put your check mark on the green box. A seven and six for me, the West. You know what I said in a message to the people? That the blue and the red, if they don't want them no more, there is no need for you to stay home. There is a third option, and the third option is BPP. Yeah. Right? It is your right to come out and exercise. It's your right to come and put a tick. It is right to come and put your vote. So make sure you come and exercise on that day. BPP, all the way! Toledo East, win the year. Toledo West, it's come on a tick. Beep, beep, beep. Sorry. Yeah.
All right, Mr. Asif, thanks a lot, thanks a lot. That was a great leader, thanks a lot. Nice, huh? Nice, Mr. Asif. Very nice, very nice. All right, guys, you heard your um your representative, Mr. Asif. <laughs> Alright. Guys. There's this quote that goes like this. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And what your country is asking of you right now, coming November 4th, vote for the Belize Progressive Party because it is in need of a rapid change. And the Belize Progressive Party will bring that change to you. So come November the 4th, vote for Mr. Esteban Asse, Mr. Will Mejia, and the Belize Progressive Party. Yeah. United we stand, divided we fall. Yeah. Guys, if not only Toledo West and Toledo East is here to speak to you guys, we also have members from the Don Gregor and from Stan Creek West. And I invite to the mic no other than Mr. Anthony Petillo, all the way from Dan Griga. Yeah. Yeah. Good day, good day. San Antonio! Yeah. San Antonio! Yeah. I'm here on the Lord and Claire. Now, anyhow, can I get to the meat of this thing? It's been quite some time now that the elections that have been held don't really come our way. We complain. And when we complain, there is no alternative then. But now, there is an alternative now. The BPP is here to appease you electors when it comes to November 4th. Just remember that when you get to the polling area, Whenever comes the election time, women are always on the forefront. But women, they never get what they are promised when comes election time. They always be look. They, are, they look for them who went to for campaign. Women, because they are the one that they are the custodian of, of their children, so they have to go out and earn something for the children. But after when they had cast their vote and helped the person who would who win the election, the women have been never looked at. So you women, I want you to take this and take it very seriously that you should not be allowed to be tricked anymore. When November 4th comes, it is going to be BPP all the way. I will not be long because there are some other speakers um, that will be speaking also. Okay, go ahead. Pleasant good evening to everyone. Well, I watched the destruction just a while ago. But, yep, yep, yep. We must have courage. It takes courage to stand up and fight them. And humility. What? <laughs> humility. Humility. Yes. humility. Yes. 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 I must say that when it comes for me to stand up and fight against the great fight in Stan Creek West, you would hear POP, UDP, and now there is a party for change, which is the Belize Progressive Party. Yay! 
Amen. I would say this and quote, teach me to plan. Don't plan for me. Teach me to fish. Don't fish for me. You would make me who I am. Most of the time, we are out there hands out. Huh? And people are willing for what you can do for them or give them. But we need to know what we can do for ourselves. We need to motivate ourselves and make the changes. Because there are so many things around us. Guatemala is right next door. And 8867 square miles is for Belize, not for Guatemala. Yeah! Yeah. I must say I have the courage to stand up and talk today because then when I first see Mr. Will and the guys on the board over there, there was no I never did see a black person and I say, man, these guys left from all the way at Corozal, Orinjua, Fast through the Enriga, Punta Gorda, and there was never a black person on that boat. But it gives me the courage now because they can do it. I can. Yes, we need to come aboard and we need to make the change. The least progressive part is here for you. It's not about the me. It's for we. It's all about the we, not about the me. With that being said, there is other people who will be speaking, so I'm not going to take time. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot. Okay, the people from the Toledo West. Um, there's something that I need to tell you guys. <laughs> you see the POP part just passed just now? Hey. All the POP part just now? You know that man, Mr. Oscar Rekena? He's my godfather. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you guys. I'm doing my bachelor's degree at the University of Belize. And as a godson, I asked him for a scholarship or to help me go to school. You know what this man told me? I cannot help you because there is no money. And I am his godson. Imagine what he will do with you guys. He will even put a look at you and help you guys. So what I'm trying to say, and I'm proud to say, he's my godfather, Oscar Rekera from Colombia. And I'm his godson. And if you don't want to help me, that's his godson. Are they helping him? What about you guys? What will he do? You know, all you want is your vote, and that's it. So what I'm asking is, do the change you guys want to see and vote for the Belize Progressive Party. Yay! All right, guys. Last Chris, also from Dangriga, wants to share a quick word with you guys because it's eating him inside and he's eager to tell you guys something. So welcome to the podium, Mr. Last Chris. Last Chris. Good evening, Belize. Belize, I speak inclusively. I never talk PG, I never talk Danwig, I never talk Komazar, I talk the whole country. 8,867 square miles. Yeah. Let me hear the hunt. All of you. Because we're not giving up. No, no, no. First of all, I can't be too long, but I will cover certain things. You know, we are trying to make it as a. My thing is this. The time to stand up for this country is here and now. Here and now. We've been standing up for years. Will Mahia have been doing it from the south? VIP been doing it from there. And we from Giga been doing it you up. You will take the same party. I don't agree. I turn green. All of it turn green. Yes, all of it turn green. You know why? In a unity, we have strength. That we are this way and that way. 1981 we get independence. But what is the mean of independence that now you are seat? You know why? Because Belizeans, when we come together, nobody could beat we, nobody could come to we with any BS, nobody could come to we and carry this and that. Our border, for example, when you have the Attorney General, they say a free border for us. An artificial, let us tell him from here and now. Artificial mean man made. Every border in the world, man made. Except if it's a river, and I see. And I look for our own. Our own. Even who knows it is. No, no, no. And here. For us, 
Please don't think of us to it. I lived in America 16 years. All ballers in the world are ballers. Everybody could go through any baller. Anybody could go through any baller. Using the right technology at the right timings. America ballers have been all around every day, every time. We're not going to our land. Believe us. When the time is stand up, come, and we're not back down. We don't know about back down, unless you never may be independent. 21 heads of agreement to not forget it. When we riot, they jump into 17, we riot again. I was that young man. I was one of them. And I still have a record today. Do you peel off of me? Do you peel off of me? Do what eh? That's a message to people. Be a peel of what? Love. Be a peel of what? Love. You walk the what? No. No comes. No comes. Be. 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 Mr. Ladas, don't I know Mr. Mahia, don't I know any other people there. Mr. Lopez, and I even ask Mr. Morgan and everybody else because this fight, Mr. Petio, all this fight has been for years. My thing, my people, this is the time to stand up. If we don't stand up, we don't make our country. You give up one square millimeter of this land, you start to give away everything. Because once what the Maya want, Mexico want to. Yeah? The Maya are the key to this land. The Maya, who didn't bow the fight. And he could call me for libel, he could sue me. I don't care. I do not care. I put it on the record. The Maya are the key to this land. We have to keep this land. And our people shall not bow, shall not beg, shall not anything. We are two times the size of Jamaica. Jamaica got four million people dead. We are only three hundred and forty thousand. Less than half a million. All of this soil, all of it in here. And you are thinking we are in Port Food? Mr. Man here was totally right when he said believe in subservient. We don't need to import any food. We don't need to import food. Everything that I tell them. Just because though, they try to take me away from the real land. But that's too good, that's good. Yes, we don't have school. But school and land go together. Land and school go together. Sea and land and school. No, if you don't have the land, then you better have the streets in Petro Kaviv. Let me get to the point. Petro Kaviv, the best streets. We can't eat shit. We cannot eat shit. The people in South Africa and all over the country are. Because of streets to build. The build the streets and what? They now wake up and hear this thing. But I, they're in Guatemala now. Because a compromise is what? A compromise. It's French for compromise. When you compromise, you have to give up something. It's a belief. If they want half, we will have to give up quarter. Boom! We cannot do that. So, with that, I will let you know. Because they have other speakers. Right? But from the time, the only green, green is the answer. Green is the answer. No land to Guatemala. Not one square millimeter. Cool. Thank you very much. All right, guys. The next speaker coming up to the mic. This guy is one of the bravest man I've met. He's not afraid, guys. This man is not afraid. He will do anything for his people because he's a born Belizean. This guy has been championing the cause of so many things. Without this guy, there will be a lot of people that don't know about the borderline. But thanks to this man, a lot of people is educated about the borderline. And as the line goes, my will is your will. So I welcome to the point of no other than Mr. William Mejia! Ladies and gentlemen, brother Will, <laughs> such a pleasure to be here in beautiful San Antonio Village. I've been coming to San Antonio Village basically all my life. I am Will Mejia, born and raised in the Toledo District, and all my life I have lived in the Toledo District. 
and I will continue to live in the Toledo district because I love the Toledo district. Today, I am thankful for the guys who traveled from the Rio Hondo to the South Stone. A political leader, Patrick Rogers, give the man a big round of applause. Because since this country got independence, every minister of finance has been a liar. <laughs> I mean liar. Right? Patrick Rogers, our political leader, is very, very qualified in the area of financing. All the loans that we have been getting and that this government and the past government, the PUP government, have been getting and misusing each and every one of us out here today will have to pay that back. That Petro Karim money, each and every one of us will have to pay it back. And I want anyone and anyone from Toledo West to tell me how Petro Karim have helped Toledo West. Not one farmer's road, not one culvert, nothing for Toledo West. Everything for Belize City. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Asse and myself and the guys from Stan Creek West, Mr. Palacio and Mr. Petillo from the Saloon to the South Shore, we will fight to get our fair share. That's right. Our fair share. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when Mr. Asse get elected, me and Mr. Aze have had this discussion for the past 25 years. This PUP and UDP has been building a road from San Jose to Santa Cruz. And today, you still cannot drive on that road. The road needs only two culverts for it to be completed and neither the PUP or the UDP could, could fix that road, could put those two culverts in. Well, I am telling you, I'm giving you my pledge today, once we are elected, our first paycheck will go to buy those culverts so that the people of San Jose could travel to Santa Cruz and the school children, the hundreds of school children that travel that road every day could get to school a lot easier. So don't let Oscar come here and tell you well, we can't do anything because our government is not in power. We can't fix the culvert because our government is not in power. If Oscar was serious about helping the people of Toledo West, the over hundred thousands and thousands of dollars that he has collected on behalf of the people of Toledo West, he could have taken a little bit of that and fixed that culvert. People of Toledo West, people of Toledo District, my brothers and sisters, today when you look at the registry and the amount of new births, everybody is born in Dangriga because Toledo have a polyclinic and not a hospital. <laughs> Mothers who are delivering babies have to travel by ambulance all the way to Dangriga because the hospital in Toledo is ill-equipped. Right here in San Antonio Village, a 17-year-old died just a few weeks ago because the Punta Gorda Hospital is not equipped enough to take care of the sick. What? A 30-year-old mother from Big Falls died because the Punta Gorda Hospital is not equipped to take care of the sick. <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, and all the ladies I see out here today, this is about Toledo, this is about all of us out here. 
It is so unfair with the millions and millions of dollars that they are squandering around the country that they cannot prepare Punta Gorda to have a well-equipped hospital so that our mothers could give childbirth at the Punta Gorda Hospital. It is a shame that 34 years of PUP and UDP, our mothers still have to travel over 100 miles to have a baby. But come November 4th, you can make that difference. You can make that difference, ladies and gentlemen, come November 4th. And like the previous speakers before me said, it starts with you. There's no way. Because you see, this Dean Barrow fella, he was a smart man. And he tried to trick us. So he called the elections and only gave a few days notice. But we, every one of us out here, the we and not the me, yes. are smarter together than Dean Barrow. Yeah. Because from November 4th, from November 4th, we will send Dean Barrow a message. Because while Mr. Asse might not be able to reach to every house, you, the ambassadors of the Belize Progressive Party, will reach those houses on behalf of Mr. Esteban Asse and myself, Wilmen and all the other members that is running across this country. So each and every one of us have an assignment. We are beasts. Like we are when we get home, we will tell our mothers our fathers, our brothers, our sisters, and everybody. That's it. The onus is on us. That we have to help Mr. Will Mejia. We have to help Mr. Esteban Asi. We will have to help the BPP. So anytime somebody tell you, but the man never comes see me, tell them that, that because the man they say somebody else, because you they have to talk to him about the BPP. All right? We, this is a team effort. We have to help each other here. We will help each other here. So when we go to houses and people say, Oh, but Mr. Asi never come to my house. Explain to them, Mr. Barrow designed it that way. But the ambassadors, the Belize Progressive Party have ambassadors in every village, in every town in this country, and we will spread the word on behalf of each and every candidate. And every, yeah. every household, every household, they yeah. talk about we don't have yeah. as much flags as the UDP and as the PUP. See our flags there? They look like more green than we. Yeah. I'm not trying to because the green machine is here, ladies and gentlemen. The green tree is here. The Belize Progressive Party is here. And before I close, ladies and gentlemen, we know, we know that sports is such a big thing in Toledo. It's what keep our people healthy, healthy and strong. Sports, every football field will be lighted so that our youths can get the exercise that they need so that oxygen can get to their brain so that this country could move forward progressively. And I am telling you again that we will not depend on Belmopan for any money, we will raise the money ourselves to put in place what needs to be put in place. We will not be like Oscar Ricana who say, well, our party no win, so we can't put in the culvert. No, we will make sure the culvert is in. Well, our party, no, they're in, so we can't get this, so we can't get that. The Toledo district is here 
and it's the richest district in the country of Belize and we are the poorest every day I find people who are home because they cannot afford to go to school under the BPP that will change ladies and gentlemen that will change if we have to put a junior college in San Antonio, we will put a junior college in San Antonio because when you look at UB in Patagonia right now, it is filled with mostly people from the villages anyhow. So we will yeah. put that in stats and have the classroom from the villages. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there is so much that we can do. But we will need you to help us to do that. The farmers road. Today, they have greater grading streets in Belmopan that don't even need greater. And here the farmers are suffering. They have to back their corn out on their back or on horses because there is no farmer's road so that the farmers could get to their farm and bring their produce out. That will change under the BPP. Yeah. And we will not come with an excuse that says Belmopan is not giving us the money so we can't do it. I am telling you that we will find a way to fix those farmers' roads. And lastly, Back to the sports, ladies and gentlemen. I am telling you here today, myself and Mr. Esteban Asse has discussed it. And come December, we will have a real, real football competition. Not with no $300 prizes. Not with no $400 prizes. But get us in there, we will have this district-wide competition with a $5,000 first place prize. $5,000, that's no more prize that the team can do something for themselves. But we first, we need the help of the team to make this happen. Right? All the youths, we're calling on you guys to make this happen. It is possible. My reputation speaks for itself. We can make this happen. And I could tell you, I see that some people from Halate and San Vicente here, that once we get in, like when the British were here, the villagers used to take care and clean the borderline. Where our village brigade, every village along the border will have a village brigade that will maintain the borderline. Yeah! And everybody serving in the village brigade will be able to go to the University of Belize because of their service to country. So ladies and gentlemen, I am telling you, the Belize Progressive Party, we are here today, we have the answer, no more can they come and say, well Mr. Will, I wanted to vote for you, but the party is not countrywide. Today, we are green from Rio Hondo to Sarstoon in Boeing, Sarstoon Island. So once again, I just want to thank all the brothers, the chairman, Mr. Chairman Paco Smith, the campaign manager, Bobby Lopez, our political leader, the brothers from Stan Creek, Steve Boone, Tony Sarstone, two of us are here today, all the student, the student council, step up here, let's show the lions that will defend the South, Mr. Arce. Come. Right? We will defend the South. This is the voice of the Belize Progressive Party, Green from Simone to Sarstone, that we will defend this country and not one square inch will be given to Guatemala. Because while we on the 16th of August standing up for Belize, Peter Eden Martinez and Dennis Usher was meeting with the Guatemalan fishermen. They are giving away our country. Just now, the PUP and the UDP that signed that secret agreement for us to go to the ICJ to give up. Why do we need to go to the ICJ when we know where our 8867 square mile is? That's right. We know where our 8867 square mile is. We do not need a European court judges who have never set foot in Belize to tell us where our border is. We know where our border is. And if they want us to show them where our border is, we can take them to the border. So ladies and gentlemen, we 
The storm comes from the Belize Progressive Party going to defend this South. We're going to defend it proudly. Thank you for coming out, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a great day. I'm glad to be here. Thank you, ladies. And remember, everybody's got a homework. All those who agree to talk to at least five people on behalf of the BPP, raise your hands. Let's go. All those who will talk on behalf of the BPP, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Alright, Councilor Mr. Wilman here. Okay, um, what I call a Santiago Chop, because it's anti ish. It will my head. Um, it that I, it not cheating to know Kumano hard to do. Um, Marciano Pop in the top. Um, a Santiago Chop, the good cheat is. It's Santiago Chop, the good cheat is. It's my, um, like two o'clock, go to Wara, Chamuko Adatias to go to Wara. If another man has done, book book a cheat here. Yes, sir. 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 I think 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 don't wanna be like I don't wanna don't wanna be my my car got a lot of Europeans so we are the tones to buy money to buy on the rip okay ma we yet can who are they are they so she can can have can who you know I'm gonna get the water to buy come on what you know I'm not even dick you know I'm getting away here so what did you have to say on a lot I can oh yeah oh that used to be in there like a lot huh third part yeah release progressive part look about much from the over here they call out you back on is the park there third party but you are a hill they call you a double dish a tempo cut to please the trend the single eye of cock a UDP at a lot of you feel congelar in a game on a hand when it's the sa a tempo to you have Cristiano to talk a little bit you know like Atano talaga le. Dekta la, dekta liba ukahiya ba talaga. Ibeta te kaya te mas. Yan talaga te muk. Ibeta te kaya te mas. Pagpagi. Tiyesh. Ibeta te kaya te mas. Si tiyesh yung isang betoch. Ibeta te yesh tuwi ko yung isang tukul ko yung isang problema tayo ni kaya si ti kala. Ibis, ibis. Ibeni la sa Jose. Ibis o ibeni la sa Vicente. Ibis o ibeni la Poite. Wah mata lagi ya saya bikin malah tiada jawab ni. Adi yang baru masuk orang susut, tu wajah tu alu malu, mata laku ialah alu garbe. Si tema buku ia tu apa beli juga buat tema lagi ni perlu bikin tiada jawab ni. Tapi perlu long baca ni. Kalau nak lihat ni, abilis progressive party, tan di show itu tulah kala borders, tan di show itu tulah kala agak kanal. Nanti mana tu villa? Kau tu yang cello. Nanti mana tu villa? Kau kau cakap dia kau yang cello. Mas tu itu kan? Kita dia cakap development. Kita dia cakap dia lagi esok kal. Kita dia cakap mas kit dua tu sub. Pes. Kau istimewa ni kau boleh ikut dia. Mister Will Mahia, Mister Babi Lopez, and dia lagi ni kalau ni. Kuch bena. Ya, saya ya kalau kau mesti kau. Ya, no. Ya, apa susu kucing orang lagi saya kau meja, kau kasi kau. Okay, Mr. Paco Smith, Mr. Patrick Rogers. Jangan kau yang uji kau pesel, uji main video, lekto tiga mahu, lagi nama ni cinci tahu. Ya, apa tu kau tahu tiga ni? Ya, apa tu kau ingkar hasilu? Mende kau kena hasilu? Pes. 
Arabe and Sikwati Tiji, Lea Karaliava, third option, Chile, the election, November 4th. Wataka Beach and Shokanu Kindle, Wataka Kina Beni, Okanesha exercise, Tisha rights, Tisha Kiel, Matene, Matene, and Matecha, no one to Lakale, this Arabe and Sikwati Tiji, Botik Tiji, a temple, the Kalisha Hokolo. What it is in Shatala week or Sikbala Belize Progressive Party, what it is in Shatala week or Sikbala Mr. Esteban Asi, you know, who's a Christian who won for a little bit, the Kati, and Tantan Tikal, the Kati Kuchiti Villa, Sahi Elex, Tikal, the Kati Villa Kalmas, Yanaka, a Kiti Tongan of his Mendigo, Kino, yeah, Matan the Tikuna, Tanti Jabe, and the Kabati Kati. Alright, right, now we have the closing remarks by Mr. Charles Leslie. Please welcome him to the mic. Mr. So Pop, come here, come here, come here. I want to congratulate you on your ma your bachelor's degree. Oh, thanks, thanks. Yeah. Ladies, yeah, yeah. Yeah. ladies and gentlemen, you cannot build a nation without first building people. That's right. When you build people, you build a nation, and that's called real progress. Yes. The reason why I congratulated Mr. Pop is because you have to take things into consideration and you have to think carefully about them. How much do you think your godfather paid for that bus? <laughs> Nothing. No. Nothing. Uh, no. Somebody paid for it. That same money could have gone to your education. And that would have built you as a person who can then come back into your community and help build your community. That's right. True. And that is the mentality of the PUP and the UDP for 34 years. That's right. And if we think they will change that mentality on November 4th, we are dreaming. I was born in Placentia. I grew up in Placentia. I am a hybrid just like my brother is here. My mom is Mayan Indian from Stan Creek Valley. My dad is a Creole man. My grandfather on my dad's side was a big, big man, six foot five. In growing up in Placentia, I watched the PUP came into power and stole from my village. I watched the UDP come into power and stole from my village. In 2009, I have a good connection with Mr. Esteban Asi Jr. I was 29 years old. In 2009, April, I got up and I told my wife two weeks before village council election that I will run for chairman. I ran and I beat the two UDP chairman who ran for the same position yeah! combined. I became the youngest and the first independent chairman of Placentia in 2009. Ah, yes, yes. And this mentality that they say, oh, if the DPP gets into power, then I can't fix the problem that this country has. We have one financial genius as our political leader. Our campaign manager built I say the largest and the best furniture factory in this country from scratch in his life. And now his children run because he built his children. When I got in as chairman, I met an $8,000 overdraft at the bank. The previous chairman, who was a UDP chairman, ran the village council broke. What? By the end of June, I paid off the entire $8,000 in its entirety. Yes, yes. 
from the Placencia Lobster Fest, our largest fundraising event in the village of Placencia, and we left $13,000 in the bank. And I did that not with the help of any political party, none. I did that with working with the community, the local people, the business community. I had the fortunate opportunity to go to college. My mom and my dad worked hard to send me to college. I got my associate's degree in business. I wrote proposal after proposal after proposal to businesses. In my first year, I raised $32,000 to invest in our sports complex. And every dollar was invested because the village council didn't touch a dime. The business owners who pledged, they paid all the bills and the workers. That's how I dealt with transparency. Yes! I wrote another proposal and built the first rudimentary drainage system in Placentia. The first! A value of around $28,000. At the end of my chairmanship in Placentia, I completed 100% of my manifesto and more. And I did it with no political party. I did it by using the power of we, not me. We the people! We the people! We have to remember people and this is my closing remarks. This movement, this political party, is not an independent party. It's not a regional party. It is a national political party. And these brothers and sisters in Belize City and up north, I don't consider them politicians. I consider them political leaders. There's a big difference between politicians and leaders. Big, big difference. That's what I was On November 4th, banners, no a vote. Flags, no a vote. Flyers, no a vote. Money will not vote. Only you will go into the polls and vote. Only you can make a change, people, not us. Not us. If we don't get into the House of Representatives to fix 34 years of damage, we will not be able to make the change. That will make a difference. Yes. The change that will make a difference. My name is Charles Leslie Jr. And I am the political leader for the Belize Progressive Party for Belmont. And I had the opportunity to be the public relations director for the Belize Progressive Party. A job that I truly enjoy. Again, Mr. Asu, thank you for inviting me to this beautiful village of San Antonio and the beautiful district of Toledo. That's what Mr. Asu. Mr. Bachelor's degree. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Alright, thanks. Um, anyway. Alright, um, there are some people here that speak sketchy. So we will have a catchy translator for you guys to tell you what we were talking about. So we welcome... Nice speech. Can I just summarize what you think We have Mr. Pablo Chun to the mic that will be translating in Ketching. First of all, we have a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are I was talking about the politics of the PUP, 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 the PUP,
from you guys there are some snacks being given away we have some juice we have some tamal so enjoy um we have our leaders mr will mehia mr rogers and mr palacio and mr milton if there's any question or any concerns that you guys have you can just go to them and walk them they're very, very friendly people so just we'll talk to them and ask them whatever you need again guys thanks a lot for coming and we love you a whole lot thanks guys have a good evening Okay, so I'm going to get a stick at it. 